Qatar's Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed and the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres stress on the necessity of humanitarian corridors in Gaza. Just one month away from hosting the AFC Asian Cup, Al Annabi sacked coach Carlos Quirez. And finally, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu wants a more steady supply of bombs from the US. Hi, this is Ali, this is The Roundup, and here are today's top stories. Qatar's Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdurrahman Al Thani and United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres spoke on Wednesday and stressed the need for sustainable humanitarian corridors in Gaza. Discussing the entry of crucial aid, the proposed humanitarian corridor would provide protection for relief convoys until they reach northern Gaza. Now, Qatar's men's national football team sacked coach Carlos Quirez just a month before defending champions al Annabi host the AFC Asian Cup. Quirez coached al Annabi for less than a year, totaling 11 matches which yielded just four wins. In July, Qatar exited in the quarterfinal stage of the gold Cup where they were beaten 4-0 by Panama. al Wakra head coach Marquez Lopez is already set to replace Quirez and will manage the team through the AFC Asian Cup campaign at the start of the new year. And finally, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said Israel critically needs a continuous supply of US bombs to continue the destruction of Gaza. This comes as Netanyahu is concerned about a potential weapons import disruption due to international political pressure to end the ongoing genocide. Since October 7th, Israeli occupation forces have killed at least 16,250 Palestinians, according to the latest figures by Palestine's Health Ministry. Well, that's all for today. For more stories, head over to our website or download our app.